radicalized ISIS terrorists are returning to Canada right now under this government. And this government has admitted that they don't have any capacity to monitor or assess the risk to our national security or public safety. Many Canadians are asking why this government isn't following the lead of our allies and refusing entry or more. Instead, they are throwing out the welcome mat. Canada cannot and must not become a safe haven for terrorists. Mr. Speaker, to the Minister, how many terrorists who have already returned to Canada under their watch are under 24-hour surveillance? Good question, Minister of Public Safety. Mr. Speaker, the, uh, the, the innuendo and the insinuation in the Honourable Member's question is simply completely false. We have in this country the RCMP, CSIS, CBSA, other security services that do a superlative job and anyone that needs to be under surveillance is indeed under surveillance. Order. Kirk Interlake Eastman. And of course, Mr. Speaker, the Public Safety Minister has taken away the powers from all those police agencies. Mr. Speaker, two Canadians travel to Iraq. One goes to fight ISIS with the Canadian Armed Forces. The others decide to join the death cult as a terrorist. Both come back to Canada. The Canadian soldier is injured while serving our country, and the Liberals cut his pay. The ISIS terrorist, on the other hand, also comes back to Canada, but is offered taxpayer-funded reintegration training by the Liberals. Why is the Prime Minister cutting the pay for our injured troops while funding support services for ISIS terrorists? Honourable Minister of National Defence. Mr. Speaker, the only cutting of the Canadian Armed Forces that was done was the previous government by billions of dollars. Yeah. Yeah. In chapter number one, we're looking after people increasing their pay, increasing their benefits, Mr. Speaker, and, and more importantly, any uh, deployed uh, 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 personnel on an international named operation will be tax free. That's the we're going to be making sure that we look after our force. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, we'll see about that, Mr. Speaker. We're making sure that we're going to be looking after our Canadian Armed Forces members.